Hi, this is Cassian with Gatsby, and today we're going to talk about a new Gatsby 5 feature, the Gatsby Slice API. This API introduces a concept called slices, which are a way to separate builds from components used on many pages, such as a header, footer, or static content. Slices are useful when you have many pages and components that are on many of those pages, and you want your builds to be faster. Slices make builds faster by building the slice separately, then using HTML stitching to put the slice back into pages without rebuilding the page entirely. Today, we're going to use slices on a modified Gatsby blog starter to turn a header component into a slice. For this video, we'll assume you've already upgraded to Gatsby 5. There are links in the video description for resources on that if you need more. With that, let's get started. For this example, we'll establish the header component as a slice using the API. To do that, we first need to declare the slice in Gatsby Node.js using the create slice function. We'll declare an alias, which is header, and then the component will require to the JavaScript file for the header component. Next, in the layout.js file where we want to instantiate our header, we need to tell where to stitch the files into the page. The first thing is we'll import slice from Gatsby, and then inside the return function, we'll declare a slice component with the alias of header, a size, and a title child. Keep in mind that your header component will not change, just how you instantiate it in the layout.js page. Now, when Gatsby builds a header, it will separately build and stitch your header into your Gatsby site without having to rebuild every page it is on. Thank you for joining me. If you'd like to learn more about the Slices API, there are more links in the video description. Have a great day.